You did get pretty close, actually. So let's go and take a look what you did. First thing we want to do is we want to make sure we have an inside function, which we can say, yes, my u is 4x to the fifth minus 5x. Then the next thing we'll want to make sure is we have a du dx. So we just go ahead and differentiate that, which is 20x to the fourth minus 5. And we say, OK, I'm having u times du dx. I can definitely differentiate this. Just make sure you know you could also multiply by your dx right there. So really, what we have is square root of u times um, du, as we can multiply the dx over there, and you'd have 20x to the fourth, right? So now we just need to integrate this, which I can go ahead and rewrite as um, integral of u to the 1 half du. So when I go ahead and integrate this, um, I'm going to basically be adding 1, which is going to be 3 halves, divide by 3 halves, which you can be multiplying by 2 thirds. So, oops, so I have 2 thirds. 2 thirds times u times the 3 halves plus c. Yeah. No, you guys didn't have plus c. You didn't say plus c, though. How I got rid of du dx? No, no, no. So you multiply by dx on both sides. This is u, this is du. Would you agree with me? Yes. So what I'm saying is, that's square root of u. That is du. This whole thing is equal to du. I might get rid of anything. But it's not in the equation. What's not in the equation? du is u. du is the integral. Yeah, we're taking the integral. It's the same thing as when we take the integral of x dx. Right? When we integrate, you're taking the, what is the integral of your change, right? your rate of change of dx. So you're integrating that back. So same thing. If I take the integral of x dx, what do we get? It, the top dx, this is all du. See this? Look at These are the same. Those are the exact same. You're not integrating the 20x to the 4, though. What I'm saying is this 20x to, 20x to the 4 minus 5 dx is equal to du. So I replace it with du. Because now, if I'm just taking the integral of the square root of u du, then I can just use normal integration techniques, which would be rewriting that as a fraction, which I showed you to the 1 half, and then adding 1, dividing by its reciprocal, and then, add, then going with my plus c, with my add and my constant. We'll do another one. We'll go through those. And then I'm just going to multiply by my constant, 4x to the fifth minus 5x to the 3 halves plus c. But I have, uh, I have a couple more just to go ahead and work on. So 